Good morning, everybody. It is September 10th, 2024. It is 11.28 a.m. Uh, doing a quick video here. Uh, actually going to do a couple of videos today. Uh, right now we're sitting in the Clayton Walmart parking lot, Clayton, Georgia. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to explore the North Georgia mountains. There's some dispersed camping. I found so we're gonna go check it out and see if it's legit or not and uh, also kind of just wanted to give you guys an update it's been about a year since I posted anything I apologize for that I just recently got a new computer which will allow me to uh, process all the old videos uh, from last year where I didn't get a chance to finish out uh, the trip uh, all along old NC 105 and Brown Mountain, so I'll get those videos processed and uploaded. And then uh, we'll, these the ones I'm shooting today will come after that. So, so basically, yeah, um, it took about a year to get up the funds to get a new computer. Uh, ended up selling a lot of stuff off my truck. As you guys probably noticed in the video, there's no brush guard on the front anymore. Um, the awnings in the rooftop tent got destroyed in, in that last uh, camping video I did with, uh, where I was trying to beat the storm out of there. I think it was a, um, actually I don't remember where it was, <laughs> too long ago. Anyway, they're off the truck uh, just carrying dead weight. Um, the tent was just eaten up with mold so bad there was no saving it. And the awnings, the, po the poles got so bent that you couldn't even put them away anymore. You had to pull the poles completely off. And uh, tarps got ripped. Yeah, basically I got caught in the beginning stages of a thunderstorm while I was trying to pack up. And branch fell off a tree and punctured holes through uh, everything. So anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is just a day trip. Uh, no camping. Uh, not today uh, On that subject uh, Things have gotten a little bit worse for me. I now have to walk with a cane at all times um, So These videos While I'm not shutting down the channel um, They will be a little bit more spread out than what you guys are used to and I apologize for that I just don't have the money with gas prices and everything, food prices, and I just don't have the money to be running out and making trips all the time. But I will try at least every couple of months to get you guys two or three videos, if not more. Fine, there's tons of local stuff around that I can go and do. It's not too expensive, so we'll get stuff like that took care of. And always uh, be on the lookout for dispersed camping, because you know that's the best camping there is. So, with that as said, let's get on the road. Um, probably bringing you guys back once we get close to the turnoff. It's a 27 minute drive. Um, turn right onto Walmart, then use the right lane to turn right onto US. 23 North. So, we'll just see. Uh, I just may leave it recording and just cut some of this out. Because I want you guys to be able to see how to get there. Use the right lane to turn right on the US. 23 North US. 441 North. So now we're heading north on uh, US 23, 441, back towards uh, Franklin, which is where I live, from exiting from Walmart.
Such a beautiful day. Yeah, a lot has happened since uh, I talked to you guys last. Um, just recently, me and Dad moved from the small efficiency we were staying in to a one bedroom. So much bigger, much more space. We're not on top of each other all the time. So we're going to be turning on right onto uh, Brickman Street, right here at this intersection. And this leads out to War Woman. Yeah, you got uh, camping out of here, hiking trails, um, some river river stuff. I'm not sure if it's rafting or what, but I know there's some stuff you can do on this river. Well, we're not near the river yet, but. Right up here. And right up here, we're going to make a right on the War Woman Road. And I believe the f f name of the first campground we're going for, our camping area, you know, area is uh, Sarah's Creek. Um, if I remember correctly from my research, it is uh, free, 14-day limit. And it's just the basic. They got, I don't even know if they got a vault toilet or not. But that's the purpose of this trip. Is to go and check it out. So you guys don't have to. Nah, I just need to get out of the house for a little while, the cooped up cabin fever, and then the move, uh, which we just finished that last week. We're still putting stuff away and reorganizing. Definitely a beautiful drive, beautiful day. I think the high is only gonna be 80. Um, clear skies all day. Got a nice little cool breeze. Give a big thank you to you guys for uh, making uh, uh, one of my videos so good. The uh, 
his first camping at uh, Tul what was it, Tulula Falls. Or, uh, no. Calico Plains. Calico Plains. Yeah, that's my number one video. I think we're we're over 7,000 views on that. So to anybody who's watched it, thank you. So we'll be crossing in and out of North Georgia, South uh, Carolina, and North Carolina. Because most of these are right on the border between one of, one of the... So I will try if I can remember whenever we do, if I do see a state line or know when we cross over one, I'll let you guys know. Like I said, there's a lot of day use areas through here. And a lot of trails. Uh, a couple of a couple of good ones. I'd say they're about medium. I think uh, they head up to some falls. A couple different areas for that. And as you can see, we're descending. We are currently. Been a while since I looked at my th at my thing. I couldn't remember what it was. See, yeah, there's a place there, Warham and Dell. Pretty sure that's just a uh, day use hiking area. Five miles to go till we turn on the Sarah's Creek. And it's about 12 minutes up that road to the campground. I'm just taking my time, enjoying, enjoying the day. In no rush to get nowhere. Those are the best days when you just get out go exploring and not have to worry about being anywhere at any certain time. to take a look into the uh, scar of the South Carolina Adventure Route. Uh, we may do that one day. Provided, you know, it's not too uh, technical. I've heard some parts are, and then I've also heard that they've gone and fixed those parts, so I don't know, I need to do a little bit more research. But if it's doable, we'll get out and do it one day. I think it's, uh, two or three day trip uh, to, do, to drive the whole thing from my understanding. So we'll do some camping if it is.
So I found six or seven spots. Um, there were more, but they were paid, at least from what I could see online. You know, they had the links to send you to uh, reservation.gov, I think was what it's called. So we're just looking for dispersed, free camping today. If you guys are interested in seeing the other ones, let me know. We can always make another trip. Because they're different areas. They're not in the same areas where we're going today. So something you would like, let me know. I think most of them were ten dollars a night. None of them had electricity. They're just the very basic, you know, fire ring, lantern holder, leveled spot, tent pad, and that's probably it. Maybe a picnic table. It's usually what the ten dollar a night spots end up being. It's only one spot I've ever been where uh, $10 a night got your power. Well, technically it was 20, but because of my disabled dis disabilities pass, uh, I get you know half off on camping, so it's 10 bucks. But that was in uh, it's in Arkansas. I can't remember the name of the campground, but it's really really nice actually. And we stopped there on our way uh, doing the Trans-American Trail a couple years ago. So, look back on the TAT videos for that one. I think it's called Long Pond. Yeah, Long Pond Recreational Area in Arkansas. Really nice campground. Truck's still running strong. Um, she's almost in need of brakes again. But going good. Coming up uh Sarah's Creek Road here. It's like about a mile, maybe a mile and a half. I can't, the sun has my uh, screen washed out so I can't see it. Yeah, this is how we're going to get here, and this is coming from Clayton, Georgia, Rayburn County. Yeah, 1.1 miles. There we go. So we're almost there. So I won't record any backtracking we end up having to do. Definitely beautiful. Right at 1,600 feet. Speed limit there is 45. I'm doing like 35. I'm in no rush. There's no traffic. Nobody behind me. Nobody in front of me. So, 
get somebody behind me, I'll either pull over or let them go by. Up, oh, get ready to turn here. Like, yeah, right there. All right, as you come at the bottom of this turn, there is a sign, Sarah's Creek Campground and Sarah's Creek Road. And this is uh, National Forest Service 156. I don't know if this is, it's paved right now, so I don't know if it's paved the whole way or not. It is pretty narrow. I would hate to meet somebody coming the other way. War Woman Wildlife Management Area. Probably a trail. Yeah, there's a trail. That's trailhead parking. See, I wouldn't try to bring a big camper up through here. Um, personally, I wouldn't take anything over 30 foot. And that's from bumper to bumper. Um, nothing real tall either. I haven't had my antenna yet. I think the top of that's right at nine, ten foot. It may be paved the whole way. I don't know. It's not too bad. Oh, we got somebody coming down. And this is not going to work. Yeah, man. There we go. Wasn't too bad. So yeah, that's uh, wouldn't go too fast on this road, even if your vehicle can't handle it. Just take your time. That way, if you do run into somebody like that, um, you don't literally run into them. <laughs> So yeah, I think we're just pedaling along here 10 miles an hour. I mean, it's not not even straining the truck. Our temperature's sitting at uh, 182. So, I mean, that's not even warm. Well, it is warm, but. Okay, drowned campfire's warning sign. Is this a camp spot or just trailhead parking? Sink its trailhead. Check it out. We'll check it out on the way back down. 
So that's where the pavement ends. Small ruts. Yeah, we still got over a mile to go to the campground. Well, decent sized ruts there. Got a little pull-offs here and there. Uh, I think it's mainly for trails, though. It's part, you know, for people to go hiking. Now, there are no camping signs up, so... Uh, this area is probably going to be camping designated areas only. I just seen some old, some no, no camping signs right back there. That road closed barrier was. I would not bring a low clearance vehicle up here. There's enough decent sized ruts that if you're not careful, you'll bottom out. Yeah, there's some decent ones here too. Of course, they, they look bad or look worse than my truck. Well, actually, the camera removes a lot of the jerkiness. They look worse than my truck because all, I got, all my shocks are blown. I got to get new shocks. I just haven't had the time or money for, it, for them. Actually, I think one is still good because the truck sits at an angle when parked. trailhead parking okay yeah there's lots of trails up through here at least I seen on when I was doing research here go some decent sized ones Take your time, you'll do fine. So, I'm going to be starting up another channel um, probably here in the next couple of months. It's, uh, <clears throat> going to be like gaming videos, uh, re reaction videos, um, you know, testing things out, whatnot, unboxing videos, stuff like that, just a little bit of everything, uh, just stuff that I can do around the house that costs money to do. Uh, once that gets going, I will put a link for anybody interested that wants to go check it out in one of my videos or on the main page somewhere. Yeah, definitely wouldn't bring a car up here, pers me personally. But you guys know I tend to lean on the, towards the safe side. I 
like I said, I'm not giving up over landing. Um, it just, whenever I get some extra money in, we'll go somewhere and do something. Might be local. Who knows, might not be. But they will be few and far between, unfortunately, for now. I do appreciate everybody that stuck around and has waited on me. Appreciate your patience. Alright, we got a fork in the road. Aren't we? So let's go left. Let's see. Yeah, that sure what's up there. It might be a camp spot. I don't want to turn around and come from the other way. So let's go up there and check that out real quick. Another little road thingy here. This looks more well traveled. So this road is not on the map. Don't look like a campsite. But I don't see no signs either. Of course, this could be somebody's private drive. But I think they would have it marked. It's traveled enough that they cut that tree up. Yeah, this is definitely on my map. We'll go up a little bit further, see where it goes. We're going to have to find a spot to turn around. Maybe it's clearing up here. Road's starting to get a little bump, humpy. I don't need to get bottomed out. Alright, we can back in there to turn around. I'm not going no farther. I don't think there's a camping on this road. So. This is almost like somebody's private road, even though it should have been marked. Yeah, these just getting a little dicey here. You know, I don't I do have a two inch lift on this truck, but I lost most of that by going down to sixteen or yeah, sixteens from eighteens. And it's just a leveling kit, it's not actually a lift kit. I mean I think it did raise it up, but that's you know, it's not a regular lift kit. Doesn't look like a campsite, it looks like a road road. Alright, onwards we go. We're back on Sarah's Creek Road. We got uh, about a third of a mile to the campground. There's a deer. We're probably gonna get off the road before. Yeah, he's done gone. Damn it. Couldn't get around fast enough, guys. Sorry about that. 
right there is where he took up. You can see the bush is still moving. that fast. You might lose a wheel on that one. Here we go. Right down here. All right, so it is not free. Uh, at least that sign said US fee area. Yep, and there is a pay box. So $10 for a single site, which is about normal. All right, so might as well drive through real quick. So there's a nice little site right there. That's number five. We got number four. So yeah, it's uh, tent pad, fire ring, fire pit, and picnic table. We got a couple more this way. We got bear box trash cans. And I think that is it. Looks like just five campsites. I mean, it's not bad, I guess, you know, 10 bucks or $5 if you got the, the pass. And there is a trail right there. Or no, that's a campsite. Okay. Yeah, it's number one. Well, that is Sarah's Creek Campground. I'm going to uh, end this video here. Um, like I said, we're going to have uh, at least probably three or four videos coming here today or from today. And then uh, I've got... five or six hours still on my phone from last year that uh, when we went out that my computer get, went out and I hadn't had a chance to uh, get processed so got a bunch of content coming from you guys and I uh, just want to thank everybody who watches my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and uh, pass it on y'all have a good day